one, par four, 320 yards. Ready? I'm just gonna chip it right over there so that I can have a easy shot in there. Back in play. Yeah, I hit that tree right there, that limb, and it ricocheted that way. Forty-six. It's wet, so there's not gonna be much spin. We're gonna have to try to get as much spin on this as possible. Hole two, par five, 440 from the lights. And I draw it. I'm gonna go nine iron. That is 140 yards away from the pin. I'm gonna just hope we make it through all this mess here. Okay, well we made it through, but it went way too far. Maybe I should have used the pitching wedge. That'll work. Y'all, it rolled all the way across. Three on. It's par five, right? Yeah, this was a par five. So we're three on, so we're in we're in regulation. Not quite enough. On the path. So we got a double and a par. So technically it's average play. So let's go. Let's see if we can. Well, with a with a par three. I mean, I, I usually play it as a par four. There's no par threes for me. So basically for me, everything's a par four. Whether it's a five, par five or a par three, because that's just where I'm at right now on my golf journey. I'm not gonna hit, I'm not gonna make it three. But on a par four or par five, I have the distance to make it on and two, no matter what, if I hit a decent shot. I just have to hit a decent shot. Hole three, par three, 150 yards. We're still in. <laughs> so, yeah, so I faded, faded the first couple balls, and then I freaking hooked a drive, then I faded that nine iron, and then I just drew the freaking nine iron on this shot. We're gonna find the center here in a minute. We're gonna find the center. 
That's about 40 yards. I'm just going to do 54 chip. Let's try to get this ball closer. Yay! Pretty much straight putt. Ooh, it wasn't straight. I thought it was. Like I said, I got a four. Plus one. All right, hole four. Par four, 390 yards from the white. Whoa. That was a good ball. All right, let's go. <laughs> 125 yards out, I'm going with a pitching wedge. That felt good. That felt real good. On in three. Didn't break. On three and a two. Hole five, par three, 140 yards from the green. Finally got a uh, divot to fix. Took me a while to hit a decent shot to get a divot fixed. There we go. All right. <sighs> One on two in. Let's go. Hole six, par five, 490 from the whites. That is a great shot. That felt good too. All right, it says it's 195 to the pin, and I got, also got 205, so I don't really quite know. I'm gonna go with a five iron just in case. Come up a little bit short, I won't be that worried. Good shot. So three on, which part five, so it's, that's fine. It's just, if I'm gonna catch back up, I'm gonna have to start hitting everything in two.
Barely. Where at? Hole seven, par four, 360 to the green. And then I overdraw it. This is gonna be nasty. You ready for this? Take it. Boom. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> finally got a one putt. On a three and a one. All right, finally got a four. And of a one putt. Hole eight, par four, 360 to the green. Fade it. Yes. Hundred yards away. We're gonna go with a fifty-four. Let's see if we can't get it on the green here. Hole nine, par four, 363 to the green. We're gonna do a hero shot. <laughs> We're gonna attempt to hit it, a push draw. We're gonna hit it that way and then try to tow it to where it'll come back and draw just on the other side of that uh, trench right there. I do wanna wait a little bit just in case I hit it a little too far. That guy there on the green out there. The only problem will be is if it starts drawing too early and hooks into that pond. Let's see what happens. how you do it. So somebody's gonna be like, so you can do stuff like that, but you can't freaking hit a ball straight sometimes? So well, sometimes I can't, you know? Sometimes I can't. <laughs> ah. on too man after that freaking great drive it's insane but that's exactly how what it's like being a freaking amateur golfer all the time them pros don't know the struggles of real amateur golf